My name is Scott Gordon. I am the CEO of Mastery Charter Schools in Philadelphia. Mastery operates uh, four schools serving 1,700 students in grades 7 through 12. Three of those schools were turnarounds of failing school district middle schools. As a turnaround, Mastery enrolled the existing students and continued operating the school as a neighborhood school. So in many ways, these turnaround schools are perfectly controlled experiments for school reform. The same students, the same neighborhood, the same buildings, the only variable that changed were the adults. So why is this important for us today? To answer that question, I want to put the problem we face in secondary education in context. Take a moment and examine how the current system is serving the children in my hometown, Philadelphia. Every year, approximately 20,000 first graders will enter Philadelphia public schools. In a globally competitive, knowledge-based economy, most of us would agree that 12 years later, we want to see those 20,000 first graders enter college and graduate. So how are we doing? The Philadelphia's dropout rate is 47 percent. So 9,400 of those 20,000 students will never even make it to their high school graduation. Of the 10,600 students who remain, two-thirds will not be able to score proficient on the Pennsylvania State Standardized Assessment. This assessment is a basic competency test, essentially the minimum a high school student should know, and is statistically correlated to college graduation. That leaves just 3,500 students with a shot at graduating college. 3,500 students of 20,000 who began a failure rate of 82 percent. It gets worse. The national college persistent rate for African Americans is just 40 percent. So it is likely that less than half of the students who graduated from high school will actually persist and obtain a college degree. An absolute catastrophe, year after year. As educators, our job is to educate young people as citizens who are productive uh, participants in our economy. We are not even close. Our house truly is on fire. We do not need to tolerate this failure. In Mastery's three turnaround schools, average scores on the Pennsylvania assessment increased 35 points per grade in every subject. Violence decreased 85 percent. Student turnover decreased by a third. And these were Philadelphia's most difficult schools. To give you a snapshot, the Shoemaker Middle School, which we turned around in 2006, was the city's most second uh, violent school. That means two police officers for just over 300 13, 14, and 15-year-old kids, yet those police officers were unable to prevent eight adults from being assaulted. At the Pickett Middle School, which we converted just last year, 7% of seventh graders were proficient in reading and 9% were proficient in math. Yet, at the Shoemaker School, it took mastery just two years to close the achievement gap between the low-income minority students we serve and their statewide peers. At the Pickett School, Mastery increased test scores over 40 points in just one year. It can be done, and I'm here to represent a proof point that we can turn around failing urban schools. It can be done, it can be done quickly, and it can be done at scale. How? First, we need urgency and accountability. Set the bar high. Without high standards and no child left behind, there will be no pressure for change. You will hear critics say that standardized tests do not appropriately assess a children's learning or preparedness for college, that they result in teaching to the test. Why don't we hear the same outcry about AP test, or SAT test, or ACT test? As knowledge jobs move across the globe to places that have a highly educated workforce, I don't imagine our peers in Beijing or Seoul or Warsaw suggesting that the test is the problem. According to the OECD, our nation has slipped to 18th in reading and 28th in math in international rankings. It is not because we are teaching to the test. It is because our students can't pass the test. We need more accountability, not less. Second, we need to ruthlessly focus on outcomes, grow what works, and eliminate what doesn't. We exercise this common sense in every aspect of our society except education. In education, there's ongoing conversations about process and means. At high school levels, conferences are filled with lively debates about making curriculum more relevant, about making more project-based, about learning communities, about whether charter school growth is good or bad. Don't listen. Instead, as policymakers, I urge you to focus on outcomes and accountability only, not the means. The House is on fire. Reward those who produce results now. 
In education, we have the notion that schools operate differently from the rest of the economy. Schools are not like the private sector because kids, kids are not like widgets. Fair enough. But adults are still adults. And the common sense management practices that drive successful organizations, be they hospitals, software companies, or schools, are still the same. High performing organizations set clear goals. They hold management and employees accountable for results. They hire high quality talent. They promote the best. They supervise staff and monitor their performance. In contrast, at public schools, PAM promotion is based on seniority or educational degrees and certification that have no proven relationship with student outcomes. Teachers are observed twice a year for 45 minutes. Imagine running an organization where you do not set goals for your staff, you do not supervise them, you do not, do not reward good performance, nor react to low performance. An 82% failure rate would not be a surprise. You can accelerate change by rewarding what works and penalizing what doesn't. Encourage failing schools to be closed and turn them around. In Philadelphia, under the leadership of our new superintendent, Arlene Ackerman, we are going to close 35 schools over the next four years. Turnaround managers such as Mastery, as well as internal district turnaround teams, will be contracted to manage these schools. Managers who, produce, who do not produce results will lose their contracts. Simple. Support bold initiatives like this. By creating an accountability system, we can leverage what works and create pressure for real systemic change. Thank you.